today we are going to be unboxing the brand new Keurig 2.0. This is the K525 Plus series. It's the brand new Keurig with the 80 ounce water reservoir. So let's go ahead and open it up. Just gonna grab a knife from the drawer and cut through the tape. So first thing that came out of the box is the um, place where you set the cup on top and it's like the drain. I have the user manual. It probably comes with a registration card. I'm guessing that's what that is on the front. out without causing any damage. It's fairly light. All right, so that's it, you guys. That is the Keurig 2.0 K525. Set it down for a second. So it looks like this piece here just snaps in here. Does it snap in this way? Yes. Perfect. So that goes there. Alright, so this is where you put the K-cup. And if you don't know what K-cups are, It's just a pre-ground coffee that comes, let's see if I can pop this open real quick, it comes in a box like this and it's a little plastic cup with ground coffee inside. It's a Dunkin Donuts original blend K-cup. It's just a little plastic cup with ground coffee inside and you put it into the top of the Keurig like that and then you just close it. It punctures a hole in the top and then runs the water through it and it brews a perfect single cup of coffee. It's very convenient for someone like me who's just running out the door and needs a cup of coffee to go to school with. I also got, as I was just showing you, the Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend Coffee. And I'm gonna give this a try. It is the Dun or not Dunkin', um, Green Mountain Coffee and it's the Caramel Vanilla Cream. Can you see it? Is it focusing? Yeah. Doesn't want to focus. In addition to that, I also got a couple of syrups. I used to work at Starbucks, so I'm a big Starbucks syrup fan. I don't like like filling half my drink with it or anything, but a pump or two is nice with certain coffees. So I got the Starbucks vanilla syrup and the Starbucks caramel syrup. So I'm excited to make some coffee. I also got a couple of Bubba tumblers. These are really nice vacuum insulated stainless steel tumblers. You can see on there it says that it will keep cold drinks cold 18 hours, hot drinks hot for 6 hours, and apparently they're not joking. I looked these up and there's review after review, hundreds of them, of people saying yes it kept my drink hot or cold all day long. There's still ice in my cup after 12 hour work days and stuff like that over and over. So those work really well at keeping cold things cold, hot things hot. So I'm excited. I'm going to be brewing some coffee and I've got some flavored syrups to add and I've got my new tumblers to drink it from. And I'm really, really excited to start using this thing. Should we add some water and make a cup? All right guys, so this lid lifts off of the water reservoir and we're going to add water to the line. If you can see in there where it says max, it's got a marking for if you're brewing a carafe 
and where you want the max of the water level to be for anything else. So we are going to fill the water reservoir. I'm going to fill it to just below the max line. Right, that should be good. We're gonna place the top of the reservoir back on. Let's turn the power on on the Keurig. Oh, it says welcome. You can see that there. Before we begin, lift handle and remove shipping disc. All right, so we already did that. That was the little orange disc that was in there to begin with. So we'll hit continue. Please lower handle. Filling. All right, so now it says it's preheating and it says lift to begin. So we're gonna lift it up. And now it says just a moment. I am going to go ahead and place the Dunkin' Donuts coffee pod into the thing. All right, so I think it's ready. Let's rinse out my new coffee tumbler real fast. Oh, this is kind of funny. <laughs> my coffee tumblers are way too big. They won't fit. <laughs> I'll just grab a coffee mug. Place it there. It says lift to begin. All right. Do I want it strong? Yes, because it's going to be on ice. It has an option for hot cocoa or other. I've selected strong. I have an eight ounce cup. I'm gonna change it to a 12 ounce cup. That's as high as it goes. You can do four, six, eight, 12. Let's do the 12 and make it strong and hit ready. Oh, maybe I hit that, okay. So I've hit this button <laughs> to make it start. And it says hot, do not lift, brewing. Now I'm gonna turn this a little bit because I'm not sure if you can see it really well. It looks really dark on the camera. But there it goes. It is brewing. And to be honest, it smells so good. All right guys, I think that's it for the unboxing of the Keurig 2.0 K525 Plus. I will see you guys later and I'm gonna go enjoy this cup of coffee. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.